This is Ryan McCombs with the band Soil, and I'm going to share some tour tips whether you like it or not. Number one tour tip I'd say is always make sure the door is locked. I don't know how many times people see a tour bus parked alongside the road and they think, you know, they can just walk on and let's party, let's have some shots. And we're having shots, but you just walked on to our, into our home, you know, I follow you home and walk into your home. That ain't cool. So make sure your stuff's locked because people, you know, you're usually parked outside of a venue that is a strip of clubs or whatever. And, and uh, so people have had some cocktails, so you always want to make sure and protect your, 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 yourself as well as your, your uh, valuable belongings that are on your home on wheels. Number two is, man, is just get a good crew. I think that's one thing that, that people overlook a lot. One thing you always have to remember is the crew are kind of like your, your uh, well, it's the first representation of you. You know, those are the guys that are in there making the show happen, number one, we all know that. But they're also the guys in there that are face-to-face -face with the local crews and with the, the, pro, the promoters and stuff. They're the ones in there, you know, dealing with those guys firsthand. If they're a bunch of jerk-offs, you're going to look like a bunch of jerk-offs. Nobody remembers that, you know, nobody will sit there and say that when so-and-so was in town, their crew were jerks. It's when Soil was in town, they were jerks. So, you know, or whatever band it is. So always make sure you got a bunch of good guys working for you. Not just for that fact, too, but it makes life on the road a lot easier. When you're stuck on a little tube on wheels with a bunch of people, you want some people that you can kick back with, relax, and that will get their job done. You don't have any problem with that aspect of things either. Number three, man, just the hardest thing probably is just trying to eat right. Because you just, it, it's so much of this stuff, you know, you, you eat so much fast food that seems like it's the only thing on hand sometimes. So you just try to keep in mind because you start feeling it out here on the road. You know, you start eating a bunch of crap, and I say, you know, all you feel like is crap. Number four, my the drummer we currently have with us. You know, we're we're three piece technically, but we we have a, a, a drummer that has been with us now for the past year or so. And it's funny because he seems to get sick every tour, and it's not an issue I have anymore. And I have a philosophy: when you start getting sick, you just keep on keeping on. Don't you know? I I'm an alcoholic. I drink every friggin' night. And my philosophy is if I start to feel something coming on, a little tickle in the back of the throat, a little sniffle, I just keep on my path. Now, his doctor told him that that was the dumbest advice he'd ever heard anybody ever give in the history of him practicing medicine. But it works for me, so I'm going to throw it out there. You know, just if, if you end up dying, don't write it in your bunk or something that Ryan McCombs said that was a good idea. Number five, you know, it, it's cool when you're starting out, you know, you feel like you've succeeded in something if you get that case of beer or something like that on the road. The most important thing though is to keep the bus stocked with water. The, when you have a bus full of crew and band members, it, they're gonna go through it fast. But uh, always make sure you have a lot of water. You can never have enough. So, you know, if if you see a case sitting outside the bus of somebody that you're on tour with and they're not looking, go ahead and grab that one too because you're gonna need it before the end of the day. So I, I definitely support, you know, getting all the water you can even if it means stealing from your friends. That's basically it. That would be my five tips of, of being on the road. And uh, that's where I've lived for the better part of the last 17 years, so there has to be some sort of validity to some of it, I hope.